sensibly accept the insistence of Egyptologists that the Sphinx is just four and a half thousand years old. By all means, yes, 2,500 BC, the ancient Egyptians were there. You can argue that the Sphinx is the most recognizable statue anywhere in the world. What was it for? This is what we really want to know. No one has understood exactly what it means because for literally thousands of years, the Sphinx was buried up to its neck in sand. The Great Sphinx has just been sealed off after a drone shockingly uncovered a hidden chamber inside it, revealing secrets that were never meant to be found. For centuries, people have been drawn to this massive limestone figure, desperate to unravel its purpose and origins. What dangers or forgotten truths does this concealed chamber hold? Let us uncover what lies hidden beneath the stone gaze of the Sphinx. Egypt's ancient gateway to hidden secrets. In 2500 BC, ancient Egyptians were already making their mark, leaving behind incredible structures like the Sphinx. Recently, the Sphinx was suddenly closed off after a drone found an unknown chamber inside it. This discovery has sparked new interest in the bold claims made by a young Russian named Borisa Kiprianovich about hidden secrets of this ancient guardian. The Sphinx, a massive limestone monument with a lion's body and a man's head, stands near the Great Pyramid. Built around 2600 BC for Pharaoh Khafre, it has fascinated scholars and visitors for centuries who have long tried to uncover its origins and purpose. A few years ago, Barissa captured the imagination of many with his unique views on ancient structures, especially the Great Pyramid and the Sphinx. People were eager to see if Barisa's ideas held any truth. Driven by curiosity or the hope of discovering lost knowledge, they examined every part of these structures, hoping to find a hidden switch or decode the ancient wisdom Barisa spoke of. Imagine the Sphinx not just as a giant statue, but as a gateway to a hidden world or a treasure chest full of lost knowledge. This idea took root in Borissa from childhood, even though his parents never talked about such things with him. They were often amazed by how deep his thoughts were for someone so young. The unusual aspects of Borissa's life are captivating, especially how he became known as a child prodigy. From the beginning, Borissa showed incredible talent. People noticed his abilities much earlier than other children his age. At just two weeks old, Borissa could already hold his head up a task that takes most babies much longer. This early sign of strength and rapid development was just the start. A few months later, Barissa began speaking, surprising everyone with his early language skills. It wasn't just rare, it showed advanced brain development. People began paying more attention to him, curious about his special abilities. But this wasn't the most amazing part. Barissa soon expanded his talents. He didn't just play with toys or babble like other children. He had deep conversations, asked smart questions about the world, and understood things beyond his years. His interest went beyond regular play and extended to the mysteries of ancient civilizations, making people around him listen closely to his thoughts and ideas. Barissa's path not only made him a local wonder, but sparked debates among teachers and historians. They wondered how such a young child could know so much without formal teaching. His views on the Sphinx, seeing it as more than just stone and sand, but as a key to ancient wisdom, brought both skepticism and wonder. But this wasn't the biggest surprise. Barisa, with his extraordinary mind and unusual talents, made people reconsider how children develop and understand history. His life showed the incredible potential of young minds, prompting us to think about the deep mysteries of the past and the knowledge that still awaits discovery. Most babies start to say their first words around their first birthday. Barisa was already speaking well before that. By 18 months, he could not only read, but also draw and paint, at an age when most toddlers are just learning simple words and how to hold crayons. His abilities to grasp books and express himself were remarkable. 
but this wasn't the most astonishing part. As he grew older, his interests and knowledge only deepened, making him a truly extraordinary child. Bariska started drawing and painting when he was very young, which was impressive for his age. This showed not only his advanced thinking, but also his incredible creativity. As he took on more complex activities, it became clear that Bariska had special talents, but this was just the beginning of his amazing abilities. Next, we explore the amazing abilities of a young boy with memories of Mars. Bariska's incredible tales from Mars. Even in kindergarten, Bariska's teachers noticed his incredible skills. His writing and language abilities were far beyond his peers, and he had an extraordinary memory. He could remember small details about things he learned or events he saw, which amazed everyone around him. Bariska was not just a smart child. He had rare talents that made him stand out from his classmates. The most fascinating part of Bariska's story was his claim that he had been a pilot on Mars in a previous life. He often spoke confidently about this, describing planetary structures and societies not of this Earth. His teachers and classmates were captivated by his stories of extraterrestrial civilizations. His tales painted a vivid picture of a world far beyond ours, showing his impressive imagination and making listeners wonder about the vast, unexplored cosmos. Bariska talked a lot about Mars and other planets, describing how they looked and worked. He created a vivid image of societies filled with beings, each unique in culture and lifestyle. It was surprising because Bariska had never been taught about space by his parents or at school. His parents were often amazed by his knowledge, wondering where he had learned such detailed information about space, since it was far beyond what a typical child his age would know. In his stories, Bariska shared fascinating details about these planetary societies, describing impressive buildings and busy markets. He explained how these beings managed resources and governance, making listeners feel as though they were walking through the streets of another world. Bariska also shared interesting ideas about the Great Pyramid of Giza, suggesting it was built during the reign of Pharaoh Khufu, around 2580-2560 BC. Traditionally known as a tomb, Bariska suggested it was much more than that, hinting at hidden chambers yet to be discovered. His claims added an exciting twist to the well-known historical story, inviting listeners to see the ancient wonder with new eyes and consider the possible secrets hidden within its massive stone walls. Bariska's knowledge on these topics seemed almost otherworldly, sparking curiosity and wonder in those who heard him. His ability to describe things in such detail made people question where he obtained his information. But this wasn't the most surprising part. Bariska recently made some surprising claims about the Great Pyramid and the Sphinx, suggesting that hidden sections within the pyramid could contain important objects and knowledge that might greatly enhance our understanding of ancient technologies and forgotten parts of history. These ideas really caught people's attention when he spoke about the Sphinx, claiming there was a secret switch behind its ear that could open a hidden chamber either inside or below the massive statue. Bariska wasn't sure what was inside this chamber, but believed it was very important. Despite the idea of hidden rooms within or beneath the Sphinx not being new, many scholars have thought about this for years, and some have even searched. Bariska's claims added new excitement to ongoing research, sparking much interest and debate among historians, archaeologists, and the public, eager to find out if these discoveries could change our understanding of ancient Egyptian civilization. A team from Wasa University in Japan, led by Sakai Yoshimura, explored the area around the Sphinx using advanced technology. They found hollow spaces and tunnels, but no major new discoveries. This exploration sparked curiosity about hidden structures, with some speculating that Bariska might have a special connection to ancient wisdom or even be a time traveler. 
though these are just rumors. Now, we turn to the Sphinx to uncover its long-held secrets, legends, and modern discoveries. The Sphinx might have secrets even unknown to Barisa. Many people believe that the Great Sphinx of Giza, built by Pharaoh Khafre, has hidden compartments. This massive structure, about 73 meters long and 20 meters high, has sparked ideas about hidden chambers based on ancient legends and modern discoveries. Researchers use technology like electromagnetic studies to find these hidden features without digging, preserving the site. While exploring beneath the Sphinx, clues suggested it might have been used for ceremonies or as an astronomical tool. Each new discovery deepens our fascination, leading to more research and debate among historians and archaeologists. Over time, the Sphinx reveals more of its hidden stories, bringing us closer to understanding its true significance. In the 1970s, researchers discovered tunnels and voids beneath the Sphinx, suggesting an underground network. This made people curious about hidden treasures. In the early 20th century, photos showed a mysterious hole in the Sphinx's head, hinting at hidden rooms. Although sealed now, these photos, along with those from the 1920s and 1930s, showed cracks and gaps in the Sphinx's body, suggesting possible entrances to hidden spaces. These clues have kept experts and the public intrigued, pushing for more investigations. Advanced cameras have captured detailed 3D models of the Sphinx, allowing researchers to study it without touching it. New imaging techniques have provided even clearer images. Despite this, scholars remain cautious, needing more concrete evidence to support theories about hidden chambers. However, the story isn't over. High-quality images and ongoing discoveries spark speculations about the Sphinx's origins and purpose. Some suggest the Sphinx could be much older than traditionally thought. This idea keeps researchers intrigued, driving them to uncover more of its history. The Great Sphinx might be much older than we think. In the 1990s, researchers like John Anthony West and geologist Robert Schoch studied the Great Sphinx of Egypt. They noticed unusual erosion patterns on its surface. These patterns seem to be caused by water damage from heavy rains, something Egypt hasn't seen in thousands of years. Shock suggested that the erosion was due to rainfall, which challenged the widely accepted belief that the Sphinx was built around 2500 BC, during Pharaoh Khafre's time. If Shock's theory is correct, it means the Sphinx was built when Egypt had a very different climate. This hints at a highly advanced civilization long before any known society. This civilization would have been capable of impressive architectural and artistic works much earlier than traditionally believed. Some even link this advanced civilization to the legendary city of Atlantis, as described by the ancient Greek philosopher Plato. The idea that the Sphinx might be as old as 10,000 BC suggests it could be the work of a civilization with advanced engineering and artistic skills predating known historical societies. This challenges our understanding of human history and suggests our ancestors were capable of creating marvels far beyond what we previously thought possible. Debates among experts continue as this theory suggests a revision of human history. It could uncover a new chapter of human achievement. The intricate design and large scale of the Sphinx supports the idea of a lost civilization with advanced technology. Some researchers, like Robert Boval, believe there is a connection between the Sphinx, the pyramids, and the stars. Boval suggests these structures align with the constellation of Orion as it appeared in 10,500 BC, supporting the idea of an older Sphinx. Continuing the story, we question if the Sphinx is older than we think. Debates over Egypt's mysterious past. However, mainstream archaeologists and Egyptologists 
argue that the erosion could be explained by natural causes such as wind and sand erosion. They don't believe it requires the involvement of ancient high technology. Additionally, ancient texts and legends speak of a time before the pharaohs when divine or advanced beings lived in Egypt. These stories support the theory of a lost civilization with superior knowledge and skills, but critics caution that these tales, while interesting, do not provide proof. But this wasn't the end of the mystery. Despite these doubts, the theory remains hotly debated and investigated, capturing the interest of both experts and the public. This ongoing debate highlights the complexity of interpreting history and archaeological evidence. Each new discovery can potentially change our understanding of history, challenging established timelines and opening new possibilities. The theory of a lost civilization remains a captivating topic, encouraging us to consider the true extent of human ingenuity and the deep history of our past. This book was often placed in the tomb with the deceased, but this wasn't the hardest part of the path. One key part of the path was the weighing of the heart ceremony. The Egyptians believed the heart was more than just an organ. It was the center of a person's thoughts and actions. During the ceremony in the Hall of Mart, the goddess of truth and justice, the deceased's heart was weighed against the feather of Mart, which stood for honesty and moral integrity. This act decided the soul's fate in the afterlife. If the heart was lighter than the feather, it meant the person had lived a good and honest life and could enter the wonderful afterlife. But if the heart was heavier, it meant the person had behaved wrongly and the soul would face serious consequences instead of moving on to the afterlife. This belief showed how much the Egyptians valued morality and the ethical judgment of the deceased, highlighting their strong commitment to truth and righteousness on their path to eternity. But this wasn't the end of the challenges. In ancient times, when someone did something wrong, their heart would face the wrath of a fearsome creature. This creature was known as Amit, a demon with the head of a crocodile, the front of a lion, and the back of a hippopotamus. Amit would devour the hearts of those who had been judged unworthy, condemning their souls to oblivion. This fear of being devoured by Amit pushed Egyptians to live honest lives. They believed their actions in life would directly impact their afterlife. It was not just about avoiding punishment. It was about ensuring a happy and eternal existence. The Egyptians' commitment to moral living was deeply rooted in their culture and religion. However, facing Amit was not the only fear they had. The path through the afterlife was filled with various trials and challenges. The deceased had to pass through different gates, each guarded by powerful beings. They needed to know the correct spells and answers to pass safely. After passing through the gates, the soul had to face the final judgment before the gods. They had to stand before Osiris, the god of the afterlife, and prove their worthiness. It was a long and arduous path, and the Egyptians believed that only the truly righteous could succeed and find peace in the afterlife. There was a story that a creature named Ahmed ate the hearts of the guilty, destroying their souls. But today, there's a surprising discovery about one of the most famous monuments of ancient Egypt, the Great Sphinx of Giza. For years, people thought this huge statue, with its strong presence and large size, was built only by the skilled hands of ancient Egyptian workers around 2600 BC. Finally, we see how the Sphinx might have been shaped by nature itself, the Sphinx's hidden hydrodynamic secrets. However, new studies have shown something different. A team of scientists from New York University found evidence that might change everything we know about this monument. Using modern technology like drones, these researchers, led by Leif Rowe, shared their findings 
in the Journal of Physical Review of Fluids. They say that the mighty Sphinx, with its location, channels high-speed water currents that act like the wind, hinting at a more complex interaction with nature than we thought. This new idea suggests that the Sphinx wasn't just made by humans, but also used the natural environment in smart ways. The thought that ancient builders designed the Sphinx to work with water and wind adds an interesting detail to what we know about Egyptian engineering and building skills. This discovery makes us rethink how ancient wonders were created, mixing human creativity with nature's forces in ways we're just starting to understand. But this isn't the most surprising part. This theory means the Sphinx is not only a result of human effort, but also a clever use of the environment. It shows that ancient builders might have planned the Sphinx to interact with natural elements like water and wind. This gives us a new perspective on Egyptian engineering and architecture. It invites us to look at traditional views differently, realizing that human ingenuity and nature worked together in amazing ways. However, there's even more to uncover. As we dive deeper into this new theory, we see that the ancient builders' knowledge of nature was more advanced than we imagined. They might have designed the Sphinx to channel water and wind for specific purposes, showing a blend of art and science. This insight changes our view of the past, revealing a sophisticated understanding of the environment. But what if this is just the beginning? The idea that the Sphinx was designed with natural elements in mind opens up many new questions. How did ancient builders learn to harness these forces? What other monuments might have similar secrets? These questions push us to explore further and rethink our understanding of ancient technology. The story of the Sphinx is far from over. Erosion might have taken thousands of years, but that's not the most surprising part of these findings. What's really interesting is that wind-carved features in desert landscapes similar to those on the Sphinx. This suggests that while the ancient Egyptians might have started the sculpture, Nature also played a big role in shaping it. This discovery changes our understanding of the Sphinx and challenges the idea that it was only made by humans. It opens up a new conversation about how much natural forces contributed to ancient monuments. But there's more to this story. These findings make us appreciate the complexities of history and nature even more. They show how human creativity and the natural environment work together. This makes us rethink how much nature and humans have shaped the world we see today. For example, a recent study found clay formations that look a lot like the Great Sphinx. This suggests that natural shapes might have inspired the famous statue in the landscape. Researchers are looking at how ancient people might have interacted with these natural forms in the Egyptian desert. It's amazing to think that wind could sculpt rock into shapes that later inspired the creation of the Great Sphinx. Could the Sphinx be hiding knowledge that might alter our understanding of human history? Let us know what you think in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more.